Für die Fraktion der Allianz der Liberalen und Demokraten für Europa hat nun Kollegin Karlskamre das Wort für drei Minuten. Bitte. Thank you. One of the basic truths about our society is gender inequality. This gender power structure is present in every aspect of our society and it hampers growth and every kind of sustainability. Of the people living in poverty in the world, almost three out of four are women. So equal opportunities for women and men is not just an issue of human rights or some sort of luxury when every other, every other problem is solved is crucial for our common future. This report by my colleague in the FAM committee, Mrs. Breyer, is a very good starting point for the urgent work ahead in the specific area of trade relations in the world. As she points out, women in general experience more difficulties in gaining access to education, property, credit, other resources and factors of production, as well as political decision-making bodies, and these inequalities restrict women's ability to use the advantages of trade liberalization. For instance, a large number of women throughout the world are denied opportunities to improve their economic and social condition, and at the same time, many of them have the added responsibility of caring for children and the household. A majority of farmers in the world are women. A structural change in the EU's common agricultural policy is an important strengthening of these women in third world countries. But gender inequality isn't just something that exists in poor countries. The representation of women in politics and business is very low, also in the member states of the Union. To raise the discussion of quotas to a new level, we must consider that this instrument can be used in a number of different ways. As I see it, the quota instrument should be used when every other way has been tested and proved unsuccessful. Like the rapporteur, I welcome the Norwegian government's decision to impose by law a 40% quota for female representation on the boards of joint stock companies. But basically, this report addresses a number of issues concerning the systematic and thoroughly unjust gender inequality affecting international trade relations. It includes a number of very precise suggestions which I believe could really make a difference in a political world so much characterized by words and empty promises. It will make for good reading in the Commission and in the Council. Finally, let me just say, Praeteria Kensio, Prostitutionem Esse Delandam. Thank you.